What is going on everybody, Hackfire13 here. So uh, coming at you with another movie vlog. And uh, yeah, not, not really a lot of people watch these, but you know, I like doing it. I like talking about movies. I like talking about movies that I recently watched, giving my opinions on them. They might not be new. They might be new. You never know. So that's why I like doing these. So yeah, basically we're just gonna talk about a bunch of movies I've watched the past week or a few days, basically. And uh, I've watched a lot of movies, guys. I've watched a lot. Um, I think I've watched one, two, uh, three, I've watched like three or four movies in total, so we're going to talk about all of them. Now, first one we're going to talk about is Young Guns. Uh, it's a movie I've been watching, wanted to been watch, I wanted, I've wanted to watch for a while. And it stars Emilio Estevez, and you know, I love Emilio Estevez. The guy puts me in a good mood, and, um, he's just, he, he, he's just, I don't know what about him, he's just fun to watch. And I don't know, he just seems like a cool dude if you want to hang out with him. I mean, The Breakfast Club, and uh, he plays Billy the Kid, and it's a waster. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he has the gang, the regulators, and uh, it's, 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 it's a good movie, you know? It's not, it's not incredible, like the best western I've ever seen. It's just a fun little western to put on every now and again. And I, I also watched the sequel to Young Guns, Young Guns 2, and, you know, I don't, as far as people like as far as people's opinion on young guns too i never really i mean from the people i know they said it was good i mean i personally think it was good i think it's just, just as good as the first one um it's it follows basically the same concept kind of but uh yeah i rather enjoyed it rather than young guns two. i mean young guns one so yeah um now, next movie I watched is John Carpenter's Escape from New York. Now, uh, it stars Kurt Russell, and I'm trying to watch some Kurt Russell movies because I haven't seen a lot of his movies. So, Escape from New York, you know, uh, Kurt Russell plays Snake Plissken, and uh, basically the movie version of Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid, one of my, well, Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. It's one of my favorite game series, but Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, if you guys never played that, play that game because like I have played that game over like so many times and it's so long and I have not beat that game but it's one of the greatest games I've ever played like literally when I play it it feels like it's my favorite game of all time like if you guys have never played Metal Gear Solid 5 The Fan of Pain go play it because it's just it's something else but um uh he plays uh, Snake Plissken, and he gets called in to go save the president. And, you know, you go into New York, and you don't come out, but he's working for the government, so he can come out. And you know what? Really liked it. It's it's really good. Um, I want to watch Escape from L.A. I've heard not so great things about it, but I'm still going to watch it. And something I realized, not a lot of people know this, at least nobody I know does. Wyatt Russell, the dude that was in Goon, uh, and Goon 2 and he was in the new Overlord movie and he plays like the sergeant or the colonel or I don't remember I think he plays a sergeant but have you ever looked at that guy and he looks familiar that's because he is the son of Kurt Russell something I never knew and I just found that to be like mind blowing because I'm a really I, I'm kind of a really huge fan of that guy because he I, I first saw him in 22 Jump Street and I thought he was like okay then I saw him in Goon and I thought he was hilarious and then Overlord I thought he was good so yeah um yeah just a little fact for you guys in case nobody knew that but um i'm really excited to see what other movies that guy does in the future but uh yeah um uh so basically the next movie i watched will be um the hateful eight it's a uh, quentin tarantino i just watched that this is the one i watched most recently uh quentin tarantino uh movie and you know, for, first thoughts i mean i loved it I loved everything about it. It's it's absolutely phenomenal. Just Quentin Tarantino's dialogue is so goddamn great. Like that guy can write dialogue. Like it feels like it, it, it like it feels like you're just like reading a book, but you're like the the book has pictures, and it's just oh my god. And you have a great cast in that movie as well. I mean Kurt Russell, Sam L. Jackson. Um, Tim Roth, uh, Shannon Tatum, he's in it, but he's a huge douche, um, <laughs> he doesn't really pull off, I mean, he doesn't really pull off a French accent, but he's in it for, like, 10, 20 minutes of the movie, but, um, 
just, and you know, something about Tarantino is his movies are really bloody. It's just when it, it takes, it either takes a while for them to get to that point or it happens unexpectedly. And when it happens, you're just like, Jesus. Cause like, I mean, this, this uh, you know, this is Quentin Tarantino's second Western and you know, he had Django Unchained is another one. And as far as Django Unchained goes, I like Django Unchained. I think it's a good movie. Um, you know, I think that, you know, it's slow at some parts, but it's still watchable. Um, I really enjoy everybody in that movie, and it's a good movie, but I think I might like The Hateful Eight, like, a little more, because Django Unchained, like I said, I, it, it's a little slow, and I got, like, a little bored at some parts. The Hateful Eight, I could not take my eyes off, because I was just so interested in all of these characters. Yeah, Walton Goggins is another one in it, and I know a lot of people don't like how he's in a lot of, he's, like, in like Tarantino movies now you know he was in Django Unchained he played a huge asshole in Django Unchained but he was still watchable um but in this one I found it to be rather enjoyable I thought he was funny I thought he was a cool character um and it's just like I said you have a lot of great people in this movie and I think the Hateful Eight this kid two westerns okay it, it's basically a western it takes place post Civil War but um you know, this compared to Django Unchained, I think Django Unchained has a lot more blood and a lot more, you know, like shooting and action-y kind of. But this one, as far as the gore and the brutality, I mean, just Samuel Jackson takes two Colt, four, I think Colt 45s or whatever, like two revolvers, and he just blows a guy's head off. I mean, you get to see people's bloods, you, I mean, you get to see people's heads get blown off, you get to see like, like uh, arms get chopped off, you get to see blood go everywhere like Django Unchained. I mean, I think I like this one better because I think it has a better cast. And I think that the dialogue was a lot, was written a lot better. And I like how the shit, like it comes up chapters and everything. And I honestly would never have guessed the whole entire mystery about, you know, how they got there that, that morning prior to, you know, when they got there. And, you know, it's just, Overall, The Hateful Eight, I, 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 I like it. I'm going to just go with it and say I like it more than Django Unchained. You know, Django Unchained, I think, is a good movie, but The Hateful Eight might just... I mean, every movie I've ever seen by Quentin Tarantino was good, and I haven't seen all of his movies. I've seen Pulp Fiction, Django Unchained, The Hateful Eight, uh... And I think that's really the only three movies. Oh yeah, and Reservoir Dogs. I've seen those four Quentin Tarantino movies. You know, I still need to watch Kill Bill one and two, and I need to watch Jackie Brown. People say that that's their least favorite, but I'm still gonna watch it. Um, so yeah, you know, in f those four movies, I'd say my. Hate, I mean, I thought Reservoir Dogs was my favorite, and I thought it was better than Pulp Fiction. You know, you know, freak out on me all you want, but. I think that The Hateful Eight is probably the best movie he's got because just, I, I just, I couldn't take my eyes off it. I, I honestly really enjoyed it. Um, like, I, I really liked it, honestly. Um, now the next one we're going to get to is Rumble in the Bronx, starring Jackie Chan. And, uh, you know, I've never seen this, and <laughs> my god, is it cheesy, but it's awesome. Like, uh... To, uh I just, thinking of it in my head, there's a lot more movies that I've watched than what I said, like like I said, like three or four, but there's a lot more. But um, Rumble in the Bronx, <laughs> it's it's like, it's, it's a little bit cheesy, not as cheesy as another movie, as the next movie I'm going to talk about, but it's, it's, it's like a little cheesy. But my God, the stunt work in that movie, it's just, you got to appreciate Jackie Chan and that dude's stunt work. I mean, just one of the greatest stuntmen of all time and one of the greatest martial arts you know Jackie Chan's so fun to watch like you can just watch the dude and it puts you in like this great mood and you just want to go out and run around and do flips over stuff and beat people up but uh it's some of the worst dubbing ever because <laughs> the words don't like match their mouth and everything but Rumble in the Bronx is there's not much to say about it rather than Jackie Chan runs around and kicks people's asses but yeah it's awesome I watched another movie, I didn't get all the way through it, but it was Super Cop. 
I thought it was good, you know, what I seen. I, I stopped it and I had like 24 minutes left and I went to bed. Well, I paused it and then when I came, I went out the room and I came back and I just didn't feel like watching it. Not to say that the movie was boring. I guess I just didn't feel like watching it. I didn't think it was good as Rumble in the Bronx, but I might finish it one of these days, but I'm just not really in the mood to finish it for some reason. But the next movie I watch, my camera's about to die, hopefully it doesn't, but uh, it's Commando starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and oh my god, is that movie cheesy as hell, but it's awesome. Um, the dude throws one of those spinning mini saws and cuts a guy's head off. It was awesome. I'm going to have to end the video, but um, yeah, those are all the movies I've watched uh, the past week, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like. Look forward to my review for Creed 2. Hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. I'm going to make a video on Thanksgiving, you know, wishing everybody happy Thanksgiving, and uh, yeah, uh, see you guys in my next video.